Junkies, Mandolins here. Hope all is well and you're keeping safe. Super excited for today's episode. We are going to visit Central Eastern Europe. We recently slept over the Bayside Bridge to see some new friends. First, we stopped at Crooked Thumb to pick up some beer. Uh, one of our favorite breweries in the area. Um, there is a world that exists outside of St. Pete, who knew? Uh, and Crooked Thumb is most definitely uh, one of the more highly regarded breweries. And also with that, we swung by First Quality Sausage and picked up a bunch of sausages. So we picked up a Hungarian fresh sausage. In the back there, we got a Hungarian smoked sausage in the middle, the pale one is a liver sausage with goose, pork, and rice. So today's episode comes by uh, a very dear friend and close peer, Chris Manick, internationally acclaimed producer and DJ. So you will hear his music uh, throughout this video and I'll include links uh, in the description. But Chris is Hungarian. And if you know anything about Hungarian folks, not unlike Colombian folks, they are some of the most beautiful, most delightful people in the world. Um, and speaking of the world, I think the world of Chris uh, and his family. So I reached out to him to gain a better idea of how to, you know, make this a Hungarian type recipe uh, and you know, which beer, picked up a bunch of beer from Crooked Thumb, but which beer is going to be best here. So essentially we're going to be making like a sausage and peppers with some additional ingredients. Uh, we're going to finish this saute with some yogurt and some really fresh farm cheese. Again, not the most authentic uh, Hungarian. Uh, definitely going to omit the sour cream. My stomach just can't handle that. But it's going to be in the vein of uh, a Hungarian type recipe. So stay tuned. Let's get all this chopped up and then we'll toss it in our pan. What we're going to do here is get all this stuff sliced up going to cut up the sausage, get that in the pan sauteing, and then we're going to remove it with all the tasty bits left over, and then get our vegetables in, saute those up, make sure they get some nice color, uh, and then we're going to incorporate everything together, um, get the eggs in there, uh, along with finishing it all off with that fresh um, farm cheese, cottage cheese, and a little bit of yogurt, all adhering to the guidelines set by Superstore DJ Manic. So again, we're going to really stay consistent with the Hungarian flavor profile. The sausages that we have uh, are the Hungarian fresh, uh, fresh sausage, the smoked, and also the liver sausage with goose, pork, and rice, all from first quality sausage in Safety Harbor. So let's get chopping uh, and we'll take it from there. Frying off some whole garlic, we'll get to that in a sec, but we're about to put in our sausage. Again, the smoked Hungarian, the uh, goose and rice, and the fresh Hungarian. So you know we're very keen on making sure that oil is as seasoned is possible so as opposed to you know dicing up the garlic um, we're gonna let the sausage 
do the talking. So we're going to get the sausage in first, get that sauteed up, make sure it gets some nice color. Like we said, pull it out. The oil will be nice and seasoned. And then we'll get our vegetables in. Hit it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Then put the sausage back in and finish off the dish with, again, the yogurt, the fresh farm cheese, and the eggs. We're going to begin fishing out our sausage. You can still see the smoked Hungarian sausage pretty well. That guy right there. Uh, the rest of them that are whole is the Hungarian fresh sausage. You can see that natural casing uh, snapping tight around the waist of those <laughs> sausage nuggets. The liver sausage with the goose, pork, and rice has completely disintegrated. Um, you could see it slightly, uh, which is fine. You know, sometimes the way you envision things turning out isn't exactly um, how it does in reality. Life is about adversity, so no big deal there. So we're going to begin fishing out, and then we're going to introduce our vegetables uh, that we diced up, um, the peppers or julienne. I'm um, not trying to be all bougie, but when you cut it in um, vertically like that, that just means julienne. And the rest of that, you see the tomatoes, the sweet potatoes, the onions, and the rest will be going in there. So hang tight. Let's do some meat fishing. I know it wasn't too pretty just a moment ago, but look how beautiful those three different types of sausages are. Our oil, our oil is nice and seasoned, ready for our vegetables. Now I wanna comment here for a sec. Once I put the vegetables in, you're gonna see me, you know, season them a little bit with our, uh, with our smoked curry seasoning, which falls right in line with our Hungarian fl flavor profile, but each one of those three sausages, as with all sausages, right, every culture has its own type of sausage. What differentiates those sausages are the season, seasonings in them, right? So you can imagine the amount of flavor that this oil has right now. So that's why we're not really going to go too crazy seasoning the vegetables once we put them in, right? This oil is pretty seasoned enough with all of the very unique spices that each one of those sausages had within them. So here's our vegetables. We'll saute these up, let them cook down. Time to hit it with that smoky paprika based seasoning that we use. And frankly, that'll be fine again because of that base we started with, all that flavor. Again, flavor is just a nice word for fat, but all that flavor that was rendered out of our three different types of sausages. We'll continue to saute this up and bring these vegetables all the way down. As this continues to cook down, and not only cook down, but it's also deglazing the pan, getting all those tasty bits from the bottom. 
But as this does its thing, we're gonna crack open our lager from Crooked Thumb and speak about Manic for a sec. So as discussed earlier, our Hungarian scramble, whatever you wanna call it, was inspired by Chris Manic, uh, not only a super dear friend of mine, but an ultra talented, globally acclaimed producer and DJ, one of those dudes that are just far too talented for his own good, uh, has a new album out um, under Chris Manic, uh, the first time he's ever really put anything out under his full name as opposed to just Manic, which is geared a little more towards house and techno and, and deep house. The Chris Manic uh, is more hip hop based, if you will, more beat oriented. But check check out his band camp. I'll include the uh, link in the description, of course, as always. I'll also flash it up on the screen. You're not gonna have much of a choice either. I will be cutting the music in and out of this video somehow. Big love and shout out to Robots Will Kill and Beer Canvas. Actually, the way I know Chris uh, over at Robots Will Kill, we're dealing with two Chris's here. Chris Manic, AKA Manic, and Chris uh, of Robots Will Kill. So the way in which I know Chris uh, of Robots Will Kill, Staten Island went off, is by way of Chris. Robots Will Kill was one of uh, Chris's favorite uh, graffiti crews, and before Chris played EDC about eight years ago, he's one of the first underground techno guys to play EDC, they came knocking, uh, we, we thought it would be a good idea to have uh, the graffiti crew do a special sticker modeled after Chris, make Chris into a robot, a manic bo uh, bot. And we made those stickers and gave them out uh, while Chris played at EDC, uh, Electric Daisy Carnival. So everything here is coming full circle from the sausage to manic to robots will kill. So it's pretty cool when that happens. So cheers to everybody. Wish they were all here with me, but they're not. So. We'll drink to them. Ah. Look how that has all cooked down. Absolutely beautiful. What we'll do just because it feels like the right thing to do, right? You gotta go with your gut, that's a junk way. When you commit, junk takes care of you. We're gonna further deglaze this pan with our Crooked Thumb Lager. Mmm. Ah, oh, wish you junkies could smell this. It smells like a baseball game, sort of. So we're gonna let that deglaze, cook down for a moment more, and then it'll be time for our three different types of sausages. Sausage time. Give this one more quick toss. All right, we'll make a little well for our sausage party. Take our three different sausages. Again, we have the fresh Hungarian sausage, the smoked Hungarian sausage, and the liver sausage with goose, pork, and rice. That's what kind of came apart and got all smashed up, but that almost definitely worked to our advantage. Let's get that in. Mm. That's liquid flavor right there. It's gold. Let that drip in. But here we go. And let's get this all incorporated. Make sure all of our guests to the sausage party are well acquainted. By the way, that lager was all Manic's idea. 
I got a few different types of beers from Crooked Thumb. I got a uh, Abbey Ale, I got a Lager, and I got their uh, DVD Milk Stout, all of which will be in the description. But, you know, Chris was like, hey, you got to go with the Lager. So, we're going with the Lager. So, as this gets nice and happy with the sausage and the onions, the peppers, all those vegetables, we're going to start incorporating the fresh farm cheese. Uh, every culture has their own type of fresh farm cheese. Um, no, you know, very little bells and whistles. It is what it is. So I'm going to take about half of that and just start crumbling it in. Right. So we're going to crumb crumble it in, continue to fold it. And then we will hit it with uh, the yogurt. And I'll show you that. And then the last step will be cracking the egg in it to complete our Hungarian scramble. Time for the yogurt. We're just going to throw this here and make sure it's fully incorporated before we add our egg. Now, traditionally, and again, please feel free to. Uh, make comments down below, but uh, traditionally you'd probably want to use sour cream. Um, I didn't want to make this as rich as it could have been. I'm not quite sure if my stomach could handle it. So we're going to stick with the yogurt. It's a Greek yogurt, um, and you know we'll we'll take it from there. Time for the egg. We got our yogurt all incorporated in our Hungarian scramble. I guess that's what we're going to call it. I hope Chris is okay with that. But we're going to call it our Hungarian scramble with three different sausages. So we made our little well there. We're going to take our eggs. Always want to crack your eggs in a vessel before you add them to your recipe. Um, you just don't want shells uh, in you know in your whatever you're putting it in or then you're going to be fishing for shells not cool waste of time so to mitigate all of that just make sure you put it in a vessel we're gonna crack the oaks scramble this all together and then we'll see you on the flip side when we have it all plated up ready to go Here we go, you junkies. That three sausage Hungarian scramble. We have finished it off with that fresh uh, cottage farm cheese. We, of course, have the Crooked Thumb Harbor Lager. Just absolutely delicious. Big love, shout out. Robots will kill. Beer canvas. And uh, really need to thank Chris Manick, aka, Ma AKA Manick. For the idea of the recipe it's our hopes he approves um, you got that nice burgundy color from all the paprika a lot of that Hungarian flavor profile the smokiness the garlic the paprika the little bit of spice um, followed, followed all throughout the recipe from seasoning the oil to the vegetables uh, the vegetables are very commonly found in a goulash um, so here you go you know like I've mentioned in prior videos cooking is not unlike DJing or producing or creating any other type of art you just got to go with your gut um, and you know whatever flavors you're feeling give it a whirl this isn't science so stay well junkies keep safe and as always wash your junk Take care. Buy that new Chris Manic Hazy Hotel. Link in the description. If we're not to be